This is Stacy's Pot House. This is my house. It's where I'm going to be making some pots. And over there is Earl, my dog. Hello, pottery people. Welcome to my first pottery blog. Yes, I actually do center my clay going that speed. Um, I know how stimulating watching someone throw pottery can be. So in an effort to alleviate the snore factor, I've decided to try to um, speed some of these parts up like the 10 minutes it actually took me to get this piece of clay centered. And now I'm going to go in for my open. And while we uh, wait for paint to dry, um, I will uh, give you a little background information on me and my pottery history. I've taken two sessions of classes and I'm only going to talk about this because if you're a new potter, I want you to know what to look for and what to avoid if you're wanting to take pottery classes. Um, my pottery classes started last summer when my mom moved up here after she retired and we decided to take classes together as something for us to do together. Let's hang on a second here and take a look at that. Does that look centered, Stacy? That pot does not look centered. Yeah, go for the open. That's, that's a good place to go for the open. Oh, yes. Yes, the wobble on that is for, certainly going to set precedence on this pot for the rest of this throw. Okay, while I try to try to fix that up there in the video, I'll continue on. So my mom and I took these pottery classes at a community center. And basically, we went in every week and she had a lesson that was not really a lesson because we didn't learn anything. But each week she had a pattern that everybody in the class would cut out the same thing and then we glued them together with slip. We made some really spectacular pieces like this, this lovely vase. Yeah, that's, that's stunning. Um, we also uh, made a set of sushi plates. Look at those. Those are nice, right? It's, it's great that we made sushi plates because I am allergic to fish. So you can imagine how handy those have come in around the house. Okay. There I am going for my first pull, and I'm going to leave that much clay on the rim, which, again, is going to set up some serious problems for me here on the rest of this pot. Um, but that's why I'm doing this blog. I want to be able to uh, look at my work later and watch how I improve or evolve to get feedback from people on what they think I'm doing wrong or right and different techniques and, and to be able to track my progress. I was inspired by a potter on YouTube named The Hobby Potter, and she made 365 cups, one a day for a year, and then put them in a gallery show. Watching her evolve and get better and better and better was absolutely fascinating to watch, and so that was the inspiration behind this video blog of my, of my adventures in pottery. Um, back to the classes. Um, the first class, we actually never got on the wheel until the last class, but that was after we were told that it would be years before we ever made anything in pottery that was going to be worth anything or would be um, worth selling to the general public. And with her as an instructor, I can certainly see how that would be the truth. Um, so this is the first thing that we threw on the wheel over at her uh, class. And, and I use that term lightly because she technically really threw it for us while she held our hands in place. We didn't go into trimming. I didn't know that existed. Glazing was a lot the same. We had a row of about six buckets um, that we were told, dip your pottery in, put it on a shelf, and come back in two weeks and it'll be glazed. You never really knew what color of glaze you were going to get. You never, I didn't know what kind of glaze, cones and all that were, I'm, I don't think we ever used those terms. Oh, here I go for this collar. This is spectacular. I mean, that is, that is great form right there. I have, that is some spectacular wheel throwing right there, folks. I just want you to know that I'm incredibly proud to put that on on the internet for people to see. I've got some serious wave, wave-like action happening there on that pot. Anyway, so those classes sucked. They were lame. She was a terrible instructor. If you go to sign up for pottery classes, ask questions like that. Like if you're going to make the same crap every day. I mean, nobody likes crappy pottery sitting around the house more than this girl. But I'm just giving you a heads up. that These aren't pieces that you're going to be proud of later on. And, and you really aren't going to uh, push yourself or, or learn anything or be creative necessarily. Um, last fall, mom really wanted to do the wheel stuff. That's what we really wanted to do the first time and we never got to do it. So we got online and looked up and found, um, the clay lady, um, out at mid South ceramics and we signed up for her classes and everything totally changed. 
Um, she took the time to explain to us the properties of clay and how it worked and the platelets and, and wheel speed, which, I mean, you can tell by looking here at this video of me throwing this pot that, I mean, I paid a lot of attention to wheel speed. That sucker is hauling ass on there. Um, and now I'm going to use the pin tool while it's hauling ass, which is, see, that worked out great. The way that worked out was awesome. I'm going to give that a two. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, now slow it down. Good job. Good form, Stace. And I'm going back in with my pen tool. I look confident. I look really confident there. Oh, 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 that's good. That's good. I did a lot of favors to that rim that was already suffering greatly. Although in retrospect, looking at it now, I can see where it was weak. There we go. There we go. There we go. Get it in there. Okay. Well, that was at least better than the first time. So we took these classes from Danielle McDaniel out there and 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 not only with the clay and the wheel, we were on the wheel week one, like the first week I made this. Um, of course, I didn't glaze it the first week, but um, I'm so proud of this pot. I'm, I'm, I think that this pot was more successful than everything I threw in the class before, simply because I actually threw it myself. And when I did glaze it, I had an idea of what it was going to look like. I picked a black glaze with this sea spray over the top of it to create this run pattern because the, the sea spray was a cone six. And if, if you're my family or my friends who are watching this, um, you won't know what that, that means, but pottery people will understand what that means. And, and I actually finally understood what that means. That's why I was so incredibly proud of that pot. Um, yeah, I just tried to belly this sucker up here and I'm going back to that rim that is just that there's no hope. I don't think there's any hope for this rim. It's a sad situation up there. Maybe if I tried to, I, I what I should have done there is pulled the rim a little bit, but, uh, but for starters, the, the damn pot was never centered to begin with. So th there was really no, there was no saving it anyway. So anyway, that's my little background on my pottery life. I took eight weeks of really crappy classes where I learned nothing. And I took eight weeks of amazing classes where I feel like I learned a lot. And now it's time to work on my technique. And that's what I really want from this blog is to watch myself, learn from it, get better, um, and to share my adventures um, in pottery with my friends and family who are in Texas and California and New Mexico. Um and to hopefully become part of the community of, of YouTube potters out there at, where we share ideas and people give me feedback on on other items to make. Oh, I'm going in with the knife tool. You guys, you got to watch this because this is this is spectacular. I'm going to try to peel that away. That's not, wait, that's not how that works. I swear that's how that worked. Turn it back on and go back to the drawing board. Yes, a pen tool. Pen tool, that's going to work. That'll be good. Yeah. Oh, that looks, yeah. That's... And now I'm basically just shoving that clay up onto the side of my pot where I just peeled it away from. And, oh, now I'm just killing the pot. Look at that. That right there. That is some spectacular pottery right there. That, I'm telling you, the way I'm holding that knife and just jamming it and ramming it and rooting it around on that base of that thing is, that's really, that's awesome work. What are you going to do now? I'm going to try to go in and salvage what's left of it with a sponge by smoothing out the edges. Yeah, do that. Smooth out the edges, Stace. Good job. So I'm hoping to make these videos and I hope that they won't be super boring. I hope to add something different to them rather than just watching me take 10 minutes or 20 minutes per pot to throw it by um, either doing a narration or having a slideshow. I don't know what the hell I'm going to do with this pottery blog, but here we go. And uh, the only way to salvage this sucker now is to put a spout on it. A spout fixes everything. Ta-da! Worldwide.